going on saltwater gear reviews guys welcome back to the channel here we do all sorts of saltwater gear reviews whether it be boat holes boat engines fish bags waterproof bags reels rods line lures you name it we will do it and today we have a pretty special box that we just got in from okuma with a number of different products inside that we're going to be reviewing with you guys but today we are here to talk about the kavala 5 in s and uh, we'll talk to you guys about the specs on this reel about our applications and possible applications that you guys can do they're brand new in the box right now but we're also going to be spooling them up at the end of the video maybe doing a little bit of testing in the backyard as well so let's dive right into this reel let's talk about the spec sheet so this kavala has four bearings in it and it's got the gear ratio of a six four to one 42 inches per line retrieve. So to put it in comparison, that's about what you get with a 14,000 Saltiga. That's a lot. So that is a lot per, per handle crank. And then it weighs 16.6 ounces. So it's a very light reel. At strike, max drag, you get about 15 pounds, seven kilograms. And then at full, you get 24 pounds, 11 kilograms. For app, our application, that's going to be absolutely more than enough. Yeah, that's a, that's a 24 pounds a big punch for a small reel. Yeah, yeah. Line capacity wise, we're looking at 12 pound mono, 420 yards. So the equivalent to that in braid is 0.32 millimeters with 385 yards. Um, 15 pound mono, 300 yards. 20 pound mono, 250. 0.37 millimeter braid, 275 yards. 0.42, 225 yards. I believe 0.42 is the same as 54? like 65 Power Pro. Yeah, something I like that. I believe, yeah. So 0.42, 225 yards. So this little reel can definitely hold plenty of line. For our application, we won't even be going up as high as 65 pound braid. No, so not at all. We're going to get more than enough on there. All right, let's pop this thing out of the box, baby. We've got our little magical tape on here. And um, these reels, as we talked about, well, our application will be for them, but mainly is going to be specifically slow pitch jigging. So uh, we've mentioned in a few other videos, but we're about to leave to go over to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And we do a lot of slow pitch jigging here at home in the Gulf of Mexico. So these guys, slow pitch jigging for grouper, um, snapper, scamp grouper, um, amberjack, all sorts of stuff, red, American red snapper. Um, we'll be using those guys for that. And then also at this size, I feel at some point we might switch them over with especially how we're gonna spool them, which we'll talk about in a little bit too. Kingfishing live baiting would be mm -hmm. super fun on these reels as well. So um, the main thing I'm not concerned about, but more so excited to see is the size of the handle arm. Handle arm length and power handle size is almost everything when you're slow pitching. So as you guys can see, this thing's about to come straight out of the box here. It's got a little bit of plastic on it. And um, first first comparison, I don't know, I haven't put my hands on it, but you can feel the, the beefiness, the, the aluminum, the aircraft aluminum this thing was cut out of is very heavy duty. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Does it have a thank you note in it? No. All right, so um, yeah, off the bat, holy smokes. That is a Makaira 50 wide handle, <laughs> <laughs> like handle arm. I mean, that thing is, is an absolute sturdy. beast. Yeah, very sturdy. Um, the handle arm's an impressive size. I think it's right on par with what you will want as far as slow pitch jigging goes. Um, I'm not gonna say it's an exceptionally long handle arm, like it's the longest handle arm in the market for slow pitch jigging, um, but it is long It is long enough. I can tell you just right off the bat, kind of putting your hands on it. Um, goes about an inch and a half above the outside frame of the reel. Very nice. The biggest thing is this, I mean, this thing is, really comfy yeah. it's in your hand so you don't have to go to a small profile reel to do some certain fishing and sacrifice your handle arm size nothing more annoying than getting a small reel and going reel 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 yeah. reel, reel on it um obviously very smooth everything on okuma's mid to high inside is just i mean I, we've always really enjoyed it um obviously it's a lever drag reel so for those of you who are new to lever drag reels if you're going to adjust your preset these things won't come with 14 pounds at strike and 24 pounds out of the box mm -mm. no reel will come set as far as lever drag reels go so what you'll want to do is after you spool this thing up, you'll put it in free spool, you'll adjust your preset, you can push it up to strike, do a pull scale on it. Okay, we're at 10 pounds of drag. I'm gonna go back down before I mess with my preset. And your preset knob is obviously very, very accessible here. Very easy to handle. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's see, another one I'm always curious about is how easy can I just 
you're not going to be able to slam past strike, yeah. which is super nice because if you're slow pitch jigging or you're tuna fishing with a different lever drag reel, you always want to know how easy can I accidentally get too excited and slide right past strike. Yeah. In some reels, you can punch right through strike and go all the way yeah. to full. That's a handy, handy thing to do because especially when you're dropping jigs, sometimes they just go slack and you want to go straight to engaging the reel and reeling. And so. you're ripping, yeah. yeah. So if you go from, I mean, for, that's the one thing about Okuma too is their strike the ramp from strike to full is like always incredible with Okuma, which is nice because you can set your reels at manageable distances and then you can have all the beans if you really need to. Yeah. But it's not good if like Blaine said, your reel goes slack and all of a sudden instead of 14 pounds, you're at 24 pounds and that's that's a lot of beans. So um, the clicker, for those of you who are interested, I'm not gonna say it's super, super loud, but I mean, if, this, if you were live baiting off the back of the boat, yeah, even over even over an outboard or a diesel engine, you're definitely gonna hear that thing screaming off. Um, but it's not super. It's really small gearing clicks. So you're not getting like click 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 mm -hmm. click click click. Um, it's a. I'm I'm interested to see with the size of the reel. Let's see what you get. How we're gonna use it? We're gonna be spooling this thing up with 30 pound tight line braid. Yeah. So and the, with the size of the reel, it's definitely right off the bat looks a little smaller than an OSHA Jigger 2K. So I'm wondering if this can be kind of like an in-between, like those of you that like micro jigging and then also traditional slow pitch jigging as well. It's small enough to do the micro stuff and then also big enough to do the bigger 800 grouper. feet, yeah. 30 pound yeah. edge grouper. So um, yeah, in the box here, you're going to get a real clamp with this as well, mm -hmm. so it will, or a rod clamp. So you get your rod clamp, you got both posts and then you've got both nuts down here as well. And the nuts are very nice. Um, you can put a flathead screwdriver in there, no problem. Yeah, that's what I, I like. Like, there's a lot of other brands out there yeah. that you have to have a very special tool, and they're this big, yeah. and then you have to make sure you never misplace that tool ever again. I don't know if this will ever, ever, ever show up on the camera. <laughs> but maybe I'll take some B-roll shots. That would make more more sense. But, yeah, you can yeah you can just take your flathead screwdriver. And uh, a small reel. I don't even know. You think I don't think we'll ever put this thing. I'm not sure we will either. We might end up just... I guess you can't take it off. Now, I'll tell you what, if you were to kingfish with it and we had a different reel seat, mm -hmm. but um, Blaine's got this thing mounted up over here so we can kind of show you guys how it'll look as far as, um, this is a JYG Pro Revolution rod. We'll be doing a review on this rod as well at some point, but this is gonna be basically our slow pitch jigging setup. So we wouldn't be putting a rod, uh, a rod, how? Reel clamp, mm -hmm. rod clamp. We wouldn't be doing that on this rod. Um, these rods really nicely torque down on the reel and yeah. really all your pressure comes from that size there. So balance uh, feels Overall, nice. balance feels very nice. I mean, holding it right here where you always hold it doesn't, doesn't feel tip weighted, doesn't feel super butt weighted either. So that's a super nice balance. Pairs nicely in yeah. your hands. It I'm also, with you, dude. yeah, it fits in your hand really well. Like, I mean, just holding it like that, which that's traditionally how I'm holding it is exactly yeah, like that. Just like that, you mind if I get a hand in there? Yeah. I'm with you, Blaine. I think you know, this is obviously the first time we've put the, this reel on the rod and gotten our hands on it and taken it out of the box. So I'm just, uh, I'm with you. I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit smaller mm -hmm. than your Osha Jigger 2Ks, which comes with lighter weight. I know these are lighter than the Osha Jigger 2Ks. Um, now, I believe that's what Akuma oh. made these reels very specific for was slow pitch jigging or jigging in general. It's a single speed model and the, the bigger Kavalas also have a two speed model, but I don't think we'll ever have any application for a two-speed when it comes to slow pitch jigging. So. Yeah, this is really light, dude. This is nuts. It's gonna be like uh, when we're deep jigging with the electric reels and then you turn back around and you slide back into like shallower. Yeah, 800 you pick that up. Yeah, you pick this thing back up. So, all right, let's let's uh, let's slide some 30-pound tight line braid on this thing and um, see what it can do capacity-wise and then we'll slide into the backyard, put a scale on this thing, um, do some normal testing with it, probably on the boat, just see how it feels, mm -hmm. um, see how it handles, and then maybe we'll put it on a different rod and let's just see if 24 pounds is 24 pounds. So, stay tuned. All right, y'all, so as you can see, the Kavala 5NS right there is spooled up. This guy hasn't been spooled yet, but we were using eight strand, 30 pound tight line braid for this. And for slow pitch jigging, this is a fantastic line. We'll probably do a complete saltwater gear reviews on tight line braid in general. Maybe even go into the deep, deep dive of braid and talk about eight strand versus 12 strand and blah, blah, blah. But, um, we got around 450 yards on this reel, which is incredible because if you think of 450 yards, I'm not super great at math, so I can just put it up on the screen how many feet that is. It's like 1,200. Eight, um, 
equals 450 yards. All right, so we can obviously do some deep jigging. So if we ever do venture out to 1,000 or 1,200 feet, we probably won't be using this reel. But if you just, for some reason, really, really wanted to, you could. Um, but what we normally do is from 300 feet to about 850, 900 foot is max. Mm -hmm. Typical day is 400 to 700 feet of yep. water. And that will be fantastic. Um, the main reason you don't want to use your entire spool, you wouldn't want to go to 1,200 feet and only leave literally 150 feet of reel, like line on your reel. Mm -hmm. Obviously, isn't because when you hook those deep water fish, they don't just run out and spool you. But your gear ratio pickup will be so, so low at low spool. So when we drop in 600 feet, you have half the spool left. So when you're pitching and then all of a sudden you need to stick that fish and he's swimming up with you, mm -hmm. you're able to gather that full 42 inches of line per handle turn, really drive that hook home, really rip that fish out of whatever you're fishing on. And um, you're gonna get that fish to the boat more oftentimes than not. So. As far as slow pitch chicken goes, um, these things are gonna be pretty slick. I really can't give you an in-depth review on how we like these handle arms. I can tell you off the bat, they feel really nice in your arm, in your hands. The handle arms themselves are plenty long enough to do some SPJ, some slow pitch jigging out there. They will feel really nice as far as live bait king fishing setups, king fishing setups go, because mm -hmm. they are really light. Their clickers are really nice. So we do have a really nice click in here and you're going to be able to cast these things just fine flipping out live bait maybe even you're flipping out swim baits for kobe and stuff like that these have a ton of different applications that you can use them for um, as far as grouper fishing and, and maybe the game pelagic fishing goes so off the bat they're light reels they're capable reels they hold plenty of line for their size and they're really torquey reels when we were spooling them up blaine was really able to put a lot of pressure really pack that braid on tight on the mm -hmm. reel um so if you guys want to see this reel in action go over to the main channel coastal worldwide is our main channel where we do all the travel fishing and all the local fishing and all the offshore inshore shark fishing blah blah, blah all of it so if you guys want to see these things in use they will eventually be coming up on the main channel but as far as the saltwater gear reviews unboxing of the kavala 5ns goes here she is baby um let's rip this thing real quick to the backyard do a little pull test and then we will cut the video after that so let's do it oh my gosh it's doing it 26 pounds of drag dude holy smokes that's it Nice. All right. 30 pounds tight line braid, 36 pounds of drag. I think the real test would be to an FG to... Yeah, like a whole floor yeah. section. I just wanted to see if it would actually do what the box said it would do. Yeah. It does it. It does. 14.8 pounds at strike, 26 pounds at full. <laughs> I feel like that was danger the whole time. All right. Catch you guys on the next one. This thing does what it says it does. Always nice.